Shannon, EJ, 5-0 win here against uh, Winchester City. Shannon, your debut, EJ, 50th appearance for the club, both goal scorers today. Written in the stars, wasn't it? I mean, oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that to be my debut today, to be honest with you. Score four goals and obviously I was happy for EJ to get on score sheet as well. It's been a long time coming. She's been working hard and training. So I'm um, banging goals for fun, more like. And I'm happy she got on score sheet today, more than myself, to be honest with you. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think it was a good game today. Um, nice to have Shan. It's obviously, we played together a long time ago, so it's been nice to link up again on the pitch. Um, and yeah, I didn't realise it's my 50th appearance, but it's always nice. And it's nice to hit, uh, hit a milestone. Um, yeah, always nice to score a goal. <laughs> And Shannon, you say there you did expect that to be on your debut, but you were brought in to score goals and you got four of them today. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting to come here. I was at least hoping for at least one, not four, but credit to the team. They set me up perfectly. It's down to me to score the goals, you know, but hopefully I can keep this carrying on throughout the whole season and start pushing on as a club. Of course, it was only the one goal at half time. Winchester were causing a few problems themselves. They've hit the woodwork a couple of times today as of we do you think there was a bit of complacency in that first half or do you think as well the pitch conditions had a part to play in that um i mean you could say the pitch but i think it doesn't matter what pitch you play on you go to other pitches in this league you know there's going to be 100 times worse pitches than this it's about how you adjust as a team and how you how you play as a team on that pitch but i think personally i think in the first half we were a little bit over the place and we're a little bit sh like shaky and you know forcing it too much i think since having a team talk with uh, smithy um at half time i think we came out as a team and that's how we scored more goals in the second half what about you ej how are you finding it in the middle of the pitch there yeah i mean i don't think the pitch can ever really be a massive excuse because it's the same for both teams but um i'd say first half the movement wasn't there the quality on the ball wasn't there the speed of play wasn't really there um but I suppose that's what we got told at half-time and it needs to be better from the start going forward. Um, but again, there's lots of changes in the team, um, myself included. Um, but yeah, I think second half, we've done what we were told to do um, and we looked a completely different team really and could probably gone on and gone through the gears a bit more. Mm. Of course, now into the semi-finals of Hampshire Cup. Shannon, EJ, both of you have previously won this competition. What does it mean to win this and how much would it be, you know, how good would it be to actually get to, say, the final? I mean, it'd be absolutely amazing for this club as well um, to get into the final for a change because you're always here and it's Pompey all the time. You know, Pompey have won it so many times throughout the years. It's nice to have someone else for a change. Obviously, last year when I was with Portsmouth, it was um, against Bournemouth. So now it'd be a nice change to be with Southampton going to the final this time against Portsmouth or whatever else goes through. Yeah, I agree. I think the last time I played in the Hampshire Cup final was against this team um, that we've now played for. Um, and Hampshire Cup's always a, an exciting one, I think. And probably last year and this year, it's a lot more com com like competitive than it's ever been before. Um, so the bragging rights are there and we're up for it. Hmm.